Reynolds. Thank you. Uh, conditions so difficult, and Jenny's going to be here throughout the morning uh, updating us on the very latest, and we'll bring you uh, regular interviews with those people. Uh, some people who are, like we've just spoken to Hussein, who's in yeah. her son this morning, talking to us about uh, the fact he's been there, spoke to us six days ago, there's no food. Uh, I think he, if you just switched on, he, his wife and his three-year-old daughter are surviving on chocolate and crisps, which yeah. is all the food they've got left at the moment. Yeah, and he's saying that people living nearby are actually fishing in the river. Sometimes they're lucky and they get mm. fish to eat, but they can't rely on it. So things are getting really desperate there. Lady with the conflict is, is top of the sports stories this morning yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And the kind of impact that it's been having on, mm. the, on the sporting landscape. And we know that has obviously played out, hasn't it, with the Champions League final being moved. We've seen Russian teams, national and domestic teams being banned. This is and it. the pressure to yeah. return to play is real. Exactly. You know, and we've seen it in football as well, yeah. haven't we? You know, this call for kind of temporary concussion substitutes yeah. as well. So. It's certainly an improving situation, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it I'm is. Yeah, sure it's just, it's just trying to sort of, you know, perhaps tweak those protocols and, and really make sure that kind of player safety and well-being is really, really being put at the forefront here. I think that's kind of what he's, what he's okay. urging. Thank you very much for All that, right. John. Now, the Prime Minister says he will set out an energy supply strategy in the coming days as prices continue to rise, but admits there are no easy answers. Well, consumers are being advised to watch or... Do right, not, yeah. you know, repeating that kind of... You know, it's outburst. Just not necessary. I mean, is it's it? just very lucky he didn't actually yeah. hit the umpire. Yeah. And then I think, yeah, the, the, the kind of severity of ban would have been much, much worse. Yeah, I think you're sure. right. Thank you, John. All right. Now, calls for action to ensure the safety of women in public have grown over the last year. Now, the chair of the Women and Equality Select Committee has told the BBC she wants new legislation and clearer signals from the Prime Minister that, that he takes these issues seriously. And this